Good morning guys and welcome to Kachi Guda railway station in Hyderabad. And this is basically what it looks like. There's a train that just arrived and we're here. And uh, I'm feeling a bit crap today because this flu is getting to me. Uh, I've spoken to people and they reckon that this flu is like lasting like three, four weeks where you just get phlegm in your chest and stuff. So <clears throat> last time was a bit of a shitty night. But anyway, I'm here at the train station in platform one waiting for my train to the next city i'm a bit disappointed because hey i was supposed to do so many things in hyderabad i never get to do it and the same thing happened in bangalore and the same thing happened in uh, uh, delhi as well so but anyway you know what sometimes life hits you with a couple of curveballs and you have to just practice you know patience and try and make the best of it so hey this train here got tinted windows it's there Check there, styling. All the other ones are not tint. They're getting protected from the sun. But anyway, um, I'm in a carriage called a B2 carriage, and uh, there's I say a uh, seat number 65. But when I went on the on the app to see where the 65 is, 65 doesn't exist. So that's a big problem for me right now because I don't know what I'm gonna do. But yeah, let me show you guys a little tour of the train station. It's not that big, basically it starts off that side and uh, when you come inside you've got places where you can chill over here, you can see people are sitting and chilling, they got the uh, charging points on the top there so people sit, charge their phones and do what they need to do uh, and then there's a couple of stalls where you can buy food. I never have breakfast this morning so I'm feeling a bit down right now so I think maybe I'm gonna take a walk and uh, try and see what food these people got but hey, they only got chips and chocolates here hey. so I think maybe I'm gonna buy some chips and chocolates this chips here is called Pudina Treat see that never tasted that before okay well let's take a tour and see uh, maybe down maybe they got more food that way hey see the puppies man see the puppies hello puppy no Hey, I found someone serving food here. Hello, sir. So basically, it's idli and uh, some gravy. I don't really fancy uh, idli. Uh, sir, what's this? Samosa, alu samosa. Alu samosa. Can I have two? How much is this, sir? 20. 20. Thank you. Never seen samosas uh, this big. Kind of a different shape. I only put the pastry so far. Mm. Very tasty, not very spicy. Proper train station breakfast, yeah, boys. Yeah, plus, they gave me chilies as well. I'm one hour early and the train is half an hour delayed. <laughs> Samosa has lime pickle inside. <laughs> Makes it very tasty, gives it a very interesting potato samosa with lime pickle. I like it a lot. Maybe I should buy two more. So apparently the train is uh, coming, but here's my problem. I have no idea where to stand. Then you literally have one minute to jump on the train. So I'm hoping that I'm going to the right platform to stand on. English. What train? Is it this one? <coughs> Carriage number D7. D7? Yeah. More down that way. Okay, thank you. In possibility, I might miss this train. I don't know if I'm going in the right direction, guys. Oh, <laughs> shit. Okay, I am running for the first time. <sighs> Sure. I think I'm in the wrong carriage. So this train is going to Nagpur. Nagpur. This train goes to Nagpur. So I got on on the wrong uh, cart. Wait, wait. I'm running again. 
So I can't find I can't find D7. Oh my god. I'm gonna miss this fucking train. Okay, I am running out of breath. <coughs> my chest is so fucking tight. And I have no idea where D7 is. Guys. I don't know what to do. B2. I am on B2. I am on B2. B2. Where's B2? That's it. Okay. I am running again. I don't think I've ever run so much in my life. Okay, a little bit more to go. They're cleaning the train. My pants are also falling down. AC2 tier, A1. I can't go anymore. I'm just gonna get on B6 and walk through. B5. What number is this, sir? It's police. It's a B2. It's a B3. B2 is Kepa. <sighs> B2 You don't want to know what I just experienced I've never in my life had to run like that before Nice sir. Okay guys I'm here my number is 65. This is my seat. But I made it into the cabin. I'll give you a quick tour of the cabin. You can see you got side berths there, lower. One, if you can fold it up, you can sit and you can sit. And there you sleep. And on this side, you have one on top, one in the middle, which is this. It folds up. And then we have one here. I won't disturb a good friend there because he's eating. This side, yeah. And then you also got plug points as well to charge your phone or whatever. I was running and my pants were falling down. <laughs> and I was so sure the couple was, I had to stop and pull it up because like if I hit like maybe five more steps in the middle of the train station for my pants and everything would have fell down. Okay, I had some water and I feel a bit better now. But yo, it was the craziest experience I ever had. Um, and at one point I just I wanted to actually give up. <laughs> I didn't want to run anymore because my chest is so tight, I got so much of phlegm. <coughs> In fact, I probably need to go to the bathroom and take it out. But anyway, <coughs> you can hear. It's bad. But I'm really uh happy that I made it in the train and I'll show you a little bit the train carriage goes all the way down there probably about one one two three four five six seven eight nine maybe about ten ten berths on one train I don't know what you call it berths or cabins or whatever but this is one cabin yeah I booked a 3A because that's my friend uh, Rehan, my good friend. If I don't mention his name, you know, he'll phone me and give me sad stories. So he recommended, you know, whenever I travel, uh, unless uh, I'm going for a very, very long journey and I want to experience first class or whatever, just book 3A because <coughs> it's got an aircon and uh, it's cheaper. So this train ticket costed me 1,000, uh, three, 1,000, wait, it cost me 1,400 rupees because initially I booked the wrong trade. I booked the trade for next week Friday. I had to pay I think 175 rupees or whatever for a cancellation and then I had to rebook this train. So all together yeah it's about 1,400 rupees. This train is kicking down. See ya. Okay I don't think you can see the speed of the train. Uh -huh my window but it feels like it's doing maybe 200 250 kilometers per hour 
कितना रुपये ट्वेंटी का सर ट्वेंटी हाँ बॉयल बॉयल चेंज फ्रेशली बॉयल्ड पीना एंजॉय दस लैकिंग अबर ऑफ सॉल्ट इनफैक्ट आई डोंट थिंक सॉल्ट फॉर ट्वेंटी रुपीज यू गेट दैट मच पीना सी हाउ फास्ट दिस ट्रेन इज गोइंग Two hundred, three hundred kilometers per hour. But it's not normal. This, this is not normal at all. I feel like this is like a bullet train. Okay, I've been on three trains so far, and this is the first thing that I've seen that's kind of interesting. It looks like a massive rock, but it's, just, it's like a mountain. But it looks like rock. Oh, it's sand. I'm so confused right now. Is this like a mining site or something? On the top, there's like a house, there, or a hotel, or a factory. So this is the first time now of being on a train that I'm seeing something interesting. Normally, you just see grass and trees. I was hoping for like the beautiful India. Wow! No, this is a fort. Hold on, that is a fort. You can see those walls there. Look like the Great Wall of India. It's going all around. And on the top of the hill there is an actual uh, like a building, like a fort. It is a rock. Oh, this is so interesting. I have, I wonder what. I need to Google it, find out what this was because there on the top, it could be a temple, it could be just a castle, it could be something. But there's walls on that side. I think maybe because people can come up there, but they can't come up the rock. Okay, so I'm gonna Google. Try and find out what what this is. That was the first attraction I saw from being in a train. I'm so happy right now. That was a rumor. Yeah, this is not something that I'm used to doing. But anyway, I'm here at the train near one village somewhere. Don't ever do this. I'm very scared right now. I'm going. Went over that river with the uh, there's a river there and uh, yeah almost died because you know I'm scared of water and stuff and shit I'm hanging over here what if I what if I jumped and landed over there hey. anyway no this train is picking up speed let me go yo what's happening people I came out of that train by the way uh, and this is Nagpur train station I put the jacket I didn't really shoot back. Train because I showed you guys what the train ride looked like the last time. wasn't any different. There was no beautiful sceneries. I expected like Bollywood music and you know amazing mountains and stuff and Shah Rukh Khan and things. Ow! Yeah. Anyway, uh, yeah, I don't even know where to go now. But let's try and figure out. We have to get a auto. They call it auto here, not tuk tuk. Anyway, I was saying. I didn't really shoot uh, inside the train because I showed you guys what 3A. The next time I will shoot a train video is when I do a first class ticket. Or maybe I'll work my way up. Maybe the next time I'll try and do a second class ticket and then eventually a first class ticket. And uh, yeah, we'll see. By the way, when you saw me run earlier with my suitcase, remember I told you I was carrying that 25 kilo suitcase. Well, I bought another suitcase. And it's a lot easier to move. The wheels are not broken, and uh, yeah, well, it can it can hit a few potholes, but uh, it's quite nice. It's now like uh, about half past nine at night, and yeah, you can see when I tell you walk freely at the train station, this is what I mean. I'm trying to find an exit. The place is so busy at this time of the night. This train station is pumped up. They got a whole lot of food stores there, and I'm starving because I didn't eat supper. But uh, I told you I need to go to the bathroom badly. I skipped this time. I skipped the toilet in the train because 
Uh, yeah, I couldn't take it. I don't even know if I'm going to the right place here. Eh? I'm trying to find the exit. I found the exit. My good friend, what's your name? Riyaz. Riyaz. Riyaz got a very nice, spacious tuk tuk. It's much bigger than other tuk tuk. Uh, but yeah, this is Nagpur. I know it's a bit uh, dark, you can't see much. But this is coming out of the railway station. And uh, it was raining. And it's kind of hot. I'm wearing this jacket. But uh, anyway, nothing I can do now. Ganesh Temple. Ganesh Temple? Oh, okay, it looks nice. I can see red lights in the distance. Big temple. Yeah, yeah, it's a big temple. Maybe in the day I'll come and check it out. You can see all the guys got stalls over here. They're selling coconuts and stuff. Oh, wow, check this traffic circle. We've got a, a statue in the center. Uh, I think it's, uh, it looks uh, Buddha ish. Kinda. Welcome to Casa de la Nagpur. I'm very tired, it's 10 o'clock in the evening, but this is my new room. First, let me give you the tour of the toilet. It's a little bit old, but it's very neat and it's clean. So I kind of like it. They gave me a towel, which is good. There's no toilet paper. I'm gonna ask them for toilet paper. Got some soap here. It's a nice mirror, you know the story. <sighs> and the shower, oh yes, the shower is quite high. Last time I was in the shower, it was here. So I had to park like this and have a bath. But anyway, and they got a line here. What's that for? For a curtain, okay? There's no extractor fan here or anything. But uh, nevertheless, it's quite neat. The room doesn't smell of anything. And this is the bed. The bed is quite big. There's lot, uh, obviously all double beds in, oh, this is like queen, king size. In India are big like this. And uh, yeah, you got some sockets here, light switch is nice. But they got the old oak wood, which I told you to worry about. So I'm hoping that I don't have to worry about that. But the room is quite big. You can see I'm standing here by the bed. I've got a section to work there. And I've got a sofa to sit there. I don't know. I don't know what I'm going to do there. But anyway, when I see Oakwood, I don't open cupboard. So I'm not going to open the cupboard. Um, but yeah, the air conditioner is... Oh, that is not blowing on cold air. Hold on, boy. 23, 22, 21, 20, 19, 18, 17, 16. It's hot, eh? I'm still got my bag and all that. Anyway. Yeah, that is my, my room. Um, yeah, I, I think it's going to be nice. So, I hope I enjoy my stay. Oh, by the way, and then I got this window here. If I open this window. I'm literally in town center as you can see. This is my aircon. This is my aircon, I'm not laughing. But yeah, I don't know what view this is. I'm literally under a railway station. Again. Yeah. <coughs> Still recovering guys from this hectic experience I had in Hyderabad. But I am uh, making videos again and I'm not looking back and whether I'm sick or not no matter how I feel tomorrow I'm going my goal is to go to four places tomorrow in one day so I hope I do you are proud stay tuned my name is Oji Scoops.